All right. Once again, as per request, um, I'm making a guide for uh, a, a basic how to play Chun Li. It should be noted that I should not be considered an expert in Chun Li, and I do not play charge characters myself. Uh, it's a little hard to say who to watch uh, to get good footage of Chun Li. Uh, there's um, Terence. He still plays Chun Li. A lot of the Chun Li players dropped her off um, for various reasons. Uh, Goichi is still playing Chun Li a little bit, but his main is Minot, and he's mainly focusing on Dragon Ball, not Street Fighter. Uh, Human Bomb. Human Bomb plays Chun Li. He's really good. You should just watch him. So to start with, um, I guess I'll just cover her basic normals, specials, that sort of stuff. So her standing light punch is pretty good. It's um, it has it has good range. It's her longest range um, four frame light. Uh, actually, well, uh, yeah, her crouching light kick is unique in that it's three frames. It's it's one of her longest range lights, uh, and it is special cancelable, but only into uh, lightning legs. Uh, you can't cancel it into uh, any of her charge moves. So if you want to confirm into like say a bird kick. It needs to be off of a light punch because you can't cancel it off of light kick. It only works into uh, lightning legs. So yeah, her standing light punch has uh, its uses, but for the most part it's not a go-to. Uh, crouching light kick is really important. It's a three-framer. Crouching light punch is uh, one of her, her big tools up close. Both her crouching and standing light punch are plus five, which is uh, really unique uh, in this game at least. And uh, allows you to confirm straight, not even on counter hit, into uh, mediums. And her standing light kick is 5 frames. Uh, it's her anti-air. It's only plus 1 on hit. Uh, it's minus like 2 or 3 or something on block. So yeah, this is your go-to anti-air. You also have back hard kick as a closer range anti-air. And you can air to air with like heavy kick, medium punch. Also... Something like that, and she has an air throw. People like going for uh, air to airs uh, with Chun Li because it it does more damage than just anti-airing with a light kick for one, and it lets you uh, get Oki on the opponent when they recover, while being able to retain your your charge. Because if you just do a, a light kick and then dash forwards, you don't have back charge or down charge ready. So yeah, then we have medium punch, which is very short ranged. It's five frames, and it's really good on hits, really good on block. Forward and back medium punch is a really important neutral tool. Um, it's a really good button in general. It, it it comes out pretty quickly. It's plus three on hit. It's zero on block. Uh, it's 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 a, just a really good poke. It confirms off of a lot of stuff. It's really useful. Standing medium kick, you don't use it that much, but it is still a decent poke. It has a decent hurt box, but it doesn't lead to very much. Crouching medium kick is uh, six frames. Um, it doesn't hit as far as you would think. It doesn't hit as far as it looks, but uh, it is. It's a it's a really good low. It's fast. Crouching medium punch is a slide. It goes underneath all sorts of stuff. It's a really good low profile. Gets underneath fireballs. It's a good activation in, into trigger. Standing heavy punch is a good long range poke. Um, it doesn't lead to that much on hit. Uh, you can confirm it into super and um, it's useful in, in B trigger 2 and all sorts of other things. It's just a good poke that does decent damage and has a lot of range. It is minus 5 on hit on block though so you have to be careful with how you space it. Crouching hard punch is um. Uh, not used very much uh, except for in, in combo situations uh, since it has a really heavy it, it's one of the few things that combos into heavy spinning bird kick um, it, but it has some other applications it's it's not terrible back hard punch is a really useful move um, it, it catches it's a crush counter it catches a lot of buttons it's plus on hit it's plus on block it has a lot of active frames making it a really useful double meaty uh, that'll cover both quick rise and back tech. And uh, it's uh, 
It catches a lot of buttons on startup and crush counters them from really far away. And because it whiffs for barely any time, you can just whiff it like this. Uh, if you think the opponent's going to press something, and if they don't, you can continue to poke. Standing hard kick is a decent long-ranged anti-air. Um, it's a, it has tons of range. It's a good crush counter. It's good against big body characters or characters that need to sort of dash or jump in, like Zangief, for spacing them out. Uh, it's a crush counter, so you can uh, get big combos off of it. Crouching hard kick is is okay in certain situations. It's just a sweep. It's fast. It's 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 one of the better ones. Forward hard kick is really good. It's an advancing uh, normal. It has a bunch of active frames. By default, it's plus two on hit and minus two on block. It's also a crush counter, which you can easily combo off of in pretty much any situation. And if you space it out so it hits on a later active frame, it can be as good as plus six on on hit. And uh, uh, pretty good on block as well. So depending on how you space it, if you do it like this, it's plus on block. You can get your in. Uh, it's it's a really good move. For that we have her specials. Um, her her light. Her uh, light legs attack is uh, plus four on hit. Medium is is plus three, and then the heavy is is plus two. The heavy is your your basic ender into like say comboing into super. The um, light and medium ones are used for extending combos. If you hit the, the medium one, you can combo off of it with the crouching light kick into something else to get a knockdown. So like, like that. And then the, uh, the, the light one pushes a little bit further back, but uh, is, is better for getting Combos because it's plus four, so you can combo a jab afterwards. And uh, EX legs is extremely good. It's a, it's a, it's good for all sorts of situations. It's uh, Chumley's a little meter dependent because of this move. Um, for like converting her pokes and things in neutral, she doesn't get like many buffers. But she can counter hit confirm a lot of stuff at neutral. So if she lands a counter hit confirm forward or back medium punch, you can confirm that straight into EX legs because it's five frame startup. Projectiles at certain ranges and block strings, you combo off those with EX legs. Uh, it's it can punish a lot of things on block that most characters can't. And it's uh, your one of your only ways to get a knockdown that isn't a charge move. So if you're if you're moving around, you need to be able to use that. Especially since you can't get those charge moves off of crouching light kick. Her fireballs uh, in general are are pretty good. Um, uh, as I don't play Chun Li, I don't know the specifics about where to use which ones, but. I would probably use medium for most situations. EX is really good. Her fireballs are, are pretty great. Uh, they have decent recovery. They come out pretty fast. Um, they they move slow enough that she can use them to advance in and easily get combos and stuff. Uh, the EX one is really good at forcing her way in and winning fireball wars and things. So her fireballs are just good in general and uh, her bird kick gets her knockdowns uh, you'll rarely ever use the uh, heavy bird kick it's actually straight up not that useful but um because any time where you could combo into it it's probably more rewarding to do something else and of course ex bird kick is uh, her invincible reversal her super is one of the better ones it uh uh, it's very fast and it covers a massive amount of distance making it great for a bunch of different situations uh, For punishing certain things that most characters can't punish getting through fireballs She can combo off of it in a lot of different situations And uh, Chun's V skill is uh, this lunge that changes her jump arc and has a lot of uses um you, you'll build V-Gage for any action that you do out of the jump, just like Blanca will do off of his V-Skill Leap. 
Uh, it, it changes your jump arc, which makes it easier to land both hits of the jumping heavy punch. Uh, making it good for getting over fireballs at different angles or approaching from different angles than the opponent would be used to. And uh, it hits at close range, which uh, is how you get uh, most of your big combos because uh, you can cancel your buttons into it. Which allows you to get uh, really good combos. On the whole, I would say Chun-Li is a pretty execution-heavy character. One of the more execution-heavy characters in the game. Uh, because it's not just about uh, optimization uh, for her execution. Like, say, uh, a, a Guile player needs good execution to be able to optimize... Like, say, the, the V skill or the, the V trigger boom loops in the corner, or getting flash kicks off of light kick, or EX, EX boom off of light kick, that sort of thing. Whereas Chun Li, if you don't have a good execution, you won't be able to do a lot of her um, basic fundamental tools, not just optimizations, but entire tools that she has available. So, you definitely need to practice your execution to be able to do all of Chun's stuff without making mistakes. And thanks to the magic of video editing, uh, you won't have to see any of my mistakes that I'll make because I don't play the character. So, first off, let's cover uh, her combos. Chun-Li's bread and butter is uh, off of her light punch. Uh, she has a, a good advantage in that, her, like I said, her light combos into her medium uh, without needing a counter hit, which means that uh, any time that she has a, uh, can get a 4-framer out, she can get her, her default bread and butter combo. It's pretty good. So, it's just crouching light punch, standing medium punch, crouching medium kick, and then medium bird kick. Alternatively, you can do uh, the heavy legs instead into like super, or if you just uh, don't quite have the execution to get that consistently. You can go for legs to keep it safe, but you won't get a knockdown. Or just, just do EX legs. It does more damage. It still gets a great knockdown. It's not hard to do. So yeah, you basically, as soon as you input the medium punch, you want to be holding down charge. And then at, at you, you wait after you hit the medium kick. And then... At the uh, latest uh, cancel frame, you uh, you press up in the butt and the medium kick to get the uh, the medium bird kick, and uh, you just practice that a bit. So that's the combo you'll be landing by far and away most frequently. Medium punch. You need to be able to um, instantly go from medium punch to uh, holding down charge so that you can get those links. Beyond that, her other combos that she can get, anytime you get a jump in per se, you can go like, uh, depending on the range, if you jump in at this far, you should probably just go for like medium kick into a uh, bird kick. Just to get a, a good knockdown. Uh, Chun-Li gets really good Oki, so anytime that you're landing that medium bird kick, you're getting a uh, great corner carry and Oki. Uh, beyond that, she can get, like, um, anytime you're landing those, like I, I already talked about, light or medium, uh, legs. Say off of, like, a crouching light kick, you can go for, uh, medium legs, and then another crouching light kick into, uh, another medium legs, and that's the end of the combo, or do EX legs instead for a knockdown. You can do uh, crouching hard punch into light legs, and then hold down charge, and then do crouching light punch into uh, light bird kick. Crouching light kick uh, by itself is, is actually minus one on block, but it can be rapid canceled into crouching light punch. So that's your, uh, your default light confirm, crouching light kick, crouching light punch, which uh, if you're doing it off of a dash up, you can do into EX legs. Uh, if you're doing it when you have charge, you can go into light spinning bird. Other, like, smaller confirms she can get off of certain meaties, like, uh, 
back hard punch if you just land it raw you can you're plus three unless you hit it extra meaty in which case you can get crouching light kick into ex legs and uh any time that you land like a guaranteed like point blank medium punch or crouching hard punch you can cancel that into v skill and then the v skill combo by default when you're not in trigger or anything is like you do two reps you just wait and then do two reps like right right in a row of the down down medium kick and then you cancel the second one into uh the medium the uh medium air legs like so and then when you have meter you do all three into ex legs if you're spacing out your uh, forward hard kick properly um it, the safest option is just, it's pretty easy to identify that you've hit it meaty, because it, it looks different. Like, you, you, you hit them as the, the, the kick swings by if you're hitting them point blank with it. But if you're hitting them from further away, it'll hit at a later active frame, and it's really easy to see that you've gotten it at least somewhat meaty. But it's difficult to tell how meaty, because it can go from plus two to being plus six. at absolute max range. So the safest option is if you see you hit it meaty, just go for a crouching light kick into EX legs. Other confirms that you'll be getting, like say in, in certain block strings that you'll be doing, like... Like that, you'll usually end with say crouching medium kick into uh, the fireball. Or with a back medium punch, like that is a, a go-to block string, or that's a go-to block string, that sort of stuff. If you land uh, the uh, the fireball at that uh, certain range, you can combo off of it with EX legs. And uh, with EX bar, uh, I'll talk about this in the corner a little bit, but if you land like anything into uh, EX fireball, like that, say back hard punch into EX fireball, you can combo off that with the EX legs. And then in the corner, since you're not getting pushed back as far, you can combo off it with a uh, low medium kick instead into uh, medium bird kick. And then you have your, uh, your counter hit confirms in neutral, like say off of standing heavy kick. You can forward dash and you're plus six, which means you can do like, by default, if you're hitting it at this range, you can forward dash into low medium kick into heavy. Um, even though you don't get a knockdown off of that, heavy or EX, which you will get a knockdown off of. And then if you're closer, you can go for, like... Something like that. Forward heavy kick also, even though it's a crush counter, it also depends on how, um, what active frame you're landing it on. So by, if you're doing it point blank, then you're like plus 18, which uh, means that if you forward dash, you'll only be plus 3. If you're technically like absolutely point blank, you can just walk forward and do a crouching hard punch into like the V skill and get all those combos. Like so. But, uh, yeah, if you're farther away or anything, but you're still only hitting them so that you're plus 18, you can just forward dash and then do, like, crouching light kick into EX legs. Actually, technically, there's one thing that you can do, but, uh, the execution is, is pretty difficult, is you can do, uh, you can get a knockdown off of, uh, just getting a point blank crouching light kick without spending meter. But you have to do cr crouching light kick and then light legs. And then uh, you're plus four, but crouching light punch won't link at that range because it's too far away. But standing light punch will. So you have to do... You can technically do, with any character in the game, down charge moves, but cancel them off of standing moves. If you just down charge and then at like almost exactly the same time you stand up and then and then press the button and then press up and kick so I'm gonna stand up press light punch and then press up and light kick at almost the same time 
and I get Standing Light Punch into uh, uh, um, Light Spinning Bird Kick. Ah, <sighs> there it is. Okay. My thumbs weren't built to play charge characters. So you can technically do that off of, say, like any range that you land this. If you land it too close and it's not meaty, you can do a forward dash into that. Uh, I did it twice before, but now all of a sudden it's like way harder for some reason. So I don't know. I'm not going to try it anymore. Off of Crush Counter, you'll, you'll land this a lot. Uh, crush Counter back hard punch at, at, at like point blank because it's a good meaty. Uh, it's good on block, good on hit. It, it beats out a lot of moves. It's fast. It's a really good button to go for. And you get a crush counter off that. You can always combo that into EX legs. Heavy legs. Or just let it go and then do like a crouching hard punch. Or hard kick. And that's mostly it. There's uh, there's one other thing that you'll you'll be landing uh, regular in uh, regular situations. Which is uh, instant air legs. So, Instant Air Legs is, um, what it's used for is, it's, it's in the air, which, it, it covers a good distance. Like, if you just do it, 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 it reaches pretty far, honestly. Like, if I, I started it from here, it goes over lows, it goes over a lot of low moves, like, uh, crouching light punches or things that people might be throwing out. Um, it's a lot faster than a forward jump. And uh, it's it's throw it's in the air, which means it'll it'll throw bait. So if you do it at this range, it'll go over throws, and then you can uh, you can bait out throws. It's only um, it's minus one. It uh, the timing depends on how well you execute it, but it'll be anywhere from like a minus one to minus three on block. And similarly, if you get the hit, there we go. See, that was plus five. I did that one. Awesome. But, uh, yeah, I, I suck at doing that because I don't practice it. Yeah, you'll be anywhere from, like, plus three to plus five, generally. Which you can usually get your full bread and butter combo off of. Like so. If you're worried about the frames, you can just do crouching leg kick into, into EX legs. So that's another thing that you can constantly combo off of. And then there's one more thing, which uh, Chun Li can do on meaty situations a lot, which is her her when she's jumping, she has this uh, down medium kick move that's really unique, and then puts her into a unique jumping state. And she can cancel that into different things, which means that if you do it as soon as you jump. Like so, it's actually an instant overhead. It's uh, It doesn't require fuzzy guarding, and it's one of the uh, more damaging instant overheads in the game since it's uh, a medium. There you go. And, by default, you can just let it go, and then, and then fall down with your, say, medium kick. But you can also cancel it. on hit into the legs, which allows you to come down on the front. So it's a, it's a good thing to meaty people with, because uh, one, it hits overhead, so if they're blocking low, they'll get hit. And then you can come down on either side, which is then another mix-up, because you can, you can continue to move and then come down with... Ugh. The cross-up, or you can cancel it into something that'll keep you on the front. Like so, and then you can combo off that. And both those options, if you do the cross up, the, the medium kick on the back is obviously plus on block. And um, the legs, if they block that in the front, that's like minus one to minus three on block. And uh, if you're using it in like a meaty situation or off of a forward dash or anything, the uh, four jump, it's obviously throw invincible, so it'll it'll act as a throw bait. The instant overhead will as well if you just four dash into it. Ugh. There we go. 
And if the opponent gets caught counter hit, it'll actually cleanly combo into the legs, which you can get a full combo off of. Like so. I guess I should explain how, I, how I'm doing that. Um, so instant air legs. Uh, I'm not great at it, but basically what I do, and I never learned, I just did this from testing it myself, so there might be a better way to do it. But I do, like, a super input, basically. Like so. And then just hold up and forward and press medium kick. Like that. And then, uh, and then it comes, it usually comes down with the, uh, instant air legs. So, after that, let's talk about her, uh, her block strings for a little bit. One of, uh, Chun-Li's problems as a charge character is having to, like, move forward by forward dashing, but then not having back charge ready or down charge to, uh, convert off of your lights. Which is another reason why she needs to have meter a lot of the time to be able to get knockdowns off of a lot of her confirms in certain situations. So, yeah. There aren't that many Chun-Li players to a uh, base, um, like, there aren't that many Chun-Li players around, so I don't get to see that many different variations on what Chun-Li players do, but a lot of them do, like, say, crouching light punch, standing medium punch back, medium punch, crouch light punch, light punch, crouch medium kick, usually into a fireball. Her frame traps are, are decent because she can combo off of them on like any situation on on counter hit at least like say standing medium punch normally just links into like crouching medium kick so if you're within range for that you can combo off of it but you won't always be in range for it like there but on counter hit you can go into like say back medium punch EX legs, you can do, you can land uh, regular hit into EX legs anytime. Counter hit, you can do like say crouching hard kick. And then anytime that you end a block string with like say back medium punch. On counter hit, you can combo off that with EX legs. It's only zero on block and you're at a good position so you can usually like throw a fireball. Or just do EX Legs Raw, because EX Legs actually is pretty good on block. It's only minus one. Wait. Oh, no, it's minus two. I thought it was minus one. And then, uh, setting up those fireballs will either, like, catch the opponent trying to press buttons or anything like that. And then, usually, when you set up the fireballs, uh, it allows you to space out your uh, your forward hard kick to be at uh, at a, a range where it'll be plus on block, like that. Standing light punch to crouching medium kick is also pretty decent if you're willing to um if you have meter to spend or anything like that. Same with crouch light punch and a crouch medium kick. All sorts of stuff will work pretty well, and if you're walking forwards, you can check the opponent with, like, say, uh, medium punch will light a convert really easily. Forward medium punch, you get a counter hit, you can just combo off that raw. It's really important to have meter when you're pressuring with, with Chun-Li. So after that, let's talk about uh, the Oki that she gets on her regular combos and things. Like I said, if you land just, like, the, the medium bird kick, you can forward dash two times. Put him to back recover. And then you'll be right there. But uh, unfortunately, like anything that you have to forward dash or move forward, uh, you won't have down charge or back charge ready uh, when the opponent's waking up. But uh, any time that you can connect medium punch in a range where you can get the full combo, that'll give you enough time to get the down charge to end it with the medium bird kick. And then once she's right in their, their face, uh, she has her forward throw, which is used to be a lot better than it currently is. Now it's actually kind of bad. And uh, as a throw bait, she can get... So a basic throw bait would be like walking backwards and then doing like say 
crouching medium kick to fireball or something like that, or crouching medium kick EX legs. Uh, the problem is if you're shimmying, you won't have back down charge ready. So one tactic that uh, Chun some Chun-Li players have been going for more recently is like doing anything uh, and then doing back medium punch uh, before the opponent gets up. Because back medium punch uh, uh, has a really deceiving look when you're whiffing it in front of the opponent. And it'll actually, even though it looks like Chun-Li's right next to them, it'll create enough space that it'll do an auto shimmy because it'll be out of throw range. And then uh, when she's doing that, she can be charging uh, while during the uh, back medium punch, she can be charging her uh, uh, down charge, which means that when she sees the throw whiff, uh, she can do medium kick and then cancel it pretty late uh, into the medium bird kick and then be able to get a knockdown. Like so. Uh, you can do a more precise shimmy if you're more precise with your exact spacing by doing a slight shimmy and then punishing with medium punch, which you can get the full combo off of. Like so. And then her Oki off of her forward throw. Uh, her back throw is, is massive. Like, unless you're already in the corner. Uh, the distance is going to be pretty great. So you won't get much. Uh, mostly, if, if you don't want to take, like, your Oki off of certain knockdowns, especially her throws, you can just set up uh, a fireball instead. To cover your approach. But yeah, her forward throw, uh, you can't get a legit meaty off of it in mid-screen because you're too far away, and you can forward dash, but then you'll be zero, which is fine against characters that don't have three framers, but you can't really do that much except for, like, trade with crouching light kick against characters that do, and even then against characters with four framers, you can beat them out with crouching light kick, but it's like, that's not real. They can back dash that, and then Chun-Li gets nothing. And, uh, she won't really get that much off of it anyways unless she commits to, like, EX legs. The only exception is when she's in V-Trigger 2. She can get more stuff off of Crouching Light Kick more liberally. In the corner off of her forward throw, it leaves her much closer, which allows her to get much better. Okay, she can walk forward and get a medium punch. And uh, in the corner, she just gets better Oki in general because she no longer has to forward dash to get anywhere, which means that you can do a variety of other stuff, like you can double meaty in certain situations, like say forward dash with crouching light kick and then do back hard punch, and that it will meaty both quick rise and back recover on that. Uh, I should mention also that EX legs also gives you a great knockdown where you can dash twice. Uh, there's probably a bunch of other setups for, like, meeting with, uh, the fireball, for example, but I, I don't know about those. Or exactly what those are. Uh, one thing to note in the corner is that, uh, Chun-Li's V-Skill acts really weird. Uh, you can use, take advantage of this, uh, off of certain setups or anything, or if you knock the opponent down. And you want to, like, set up, like, a safe jump or whatever with your V-Skill. It won't be very safe, but... If you set up a jump on the opponent's wake-up or whatever, if you do it like this, the V-Skill jump, no matter what, if the opponent's exactly in the corner, you can hit medium kick at about this range, and it will hit cross-up, but then you'll stay in front. So, you can hit it, and then cross-up, but then stay on the same side. So they have to first block um, to the right, and then to the left. Whereas, if you delay slightly longer, you'll cross up and then stay on that side. So, you can take advantage of this to do some, some mix-ups. Ah, yes. One other thing you can do with Crouching Hard Punch is, uh, because it hits twice, it has quite a bit, few active frames. So, it's not terrible to throw out in neutral, um, uh, against certain moves. 
you can buffer the first hit while waiting for the second hit. And if the second hit hits counter hit, you can combo off of it with, um, it's plus four, which means you can combo off of it with, like, depending on the range. Crouching Light Punch into a Light Bird Kick. Usually, you'll probably, if you're buffering the first hit, you probably won't have Down Charge ready. So, you'll just do Crouching Light Kick into EX Legs. So now, let's talk about our V-Triggers. Uh, Chun-Li, just in general, has, um, a bunch of ways to, uh, combo into her V-Triggers. And, uh, both of her V-Triggers are pretty strong. So, she can do it off of any of her normals. One of the best ones to go for is, uh... Crouching Medium Punch. You can slide into Activation. At the bare minimum, you'll be plus 5, which lets you combo with EX Legs. You can also do combo into it, or cancel into V-Trigger off of Legs, and EX Legs. Uh, her V-Trigger 1, when it's active, um, basically, like, turns most of her hits into multi-hitting moves, so, like, most of her moves hit uh, two times or three times, which uh, gives you uh, more time to hit confirm them, for one, and it also makes it so they are uh, more adv advantageous on hit. So, like, normally medium punch is plus six, but in V-Trigger it's plus eight. Not all of them change universally like that by going up plus two. Like, back medium punch is plus three, whereas in V-Trigger it's plus four. Even though they are two hitting... Uh, it, the, if you get a counter hit, it does carry over, so a back medium punch is still plus six on hit, on counter hit. Mainly allows her to combo, like, say, uh, the big things that it lets her do is it lets her combo crouch light punch into crouching medium kick, which means that she can do that, and it all combo cleanly, which means that she gets a good combo into a knockdown off of a three-framer, regardless of whether or not she has charge before she does the three-framer. So that's really good. Stuff like that. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, because of the additional hits, she can cancel uh, Crouching Medium Kick into the Heavy Spinning Bird instead of just the Medium. Uh, standing Medium Punch links into Crouching Hard Punch, uh, which allows you to get combos with V-Skill. And uh, it changes her default V-Skill combo so that it adds more juggle points on those hits, which means you can do all three of them. Even if you're not going to spend meter, and it'll still juggle, whereas if you do it normally without V-Trigger, if you do all three, the um, it won't hit. Like I said, you need to just do two, unless you're going to spend meter. So yeah, you can get a bunch of damage with no meter in this trigger. It just drastically increases, it Im improves her, her hit confirms, her ability to... Um, get combos and such in, in more situations, uh, uh, her ability to link stuff together from further away, and uh, just drastically in improves her damage output. That's, that's pretty much what this trigger does. It runs out pretty quickly, but it's still a really solid trigger. It doesn't change any of her moves on block, though. So her, her pressure and buttons are still pretty much the same in that regards. It also drastically in increases her ability to do juggles, which I don't know hardly any of, of this stuff, but there's like a bunch of really weird massive damaging combos you can get with um, like counter hit juggles and things because all of her hits will just continue to juggle the opponent like that. So I don't know all that stuff. And then, uh, if you, uh, the only thing I know about, like, the juggling stuff is that if you want to combo into super off of, like, say, your V-Skill hits, you do, like, two hits and then into hard kick and then just drop. And then do the super when you land. Like so. And, of course, this also allows her to combo... Oh, I completely forgot about these two moves. So, yeah, she has down forward medium kick and uh, down forward hard kick, which is a good way to escape the corner, get, like, a fast cross-up thing. It's it's okay. It's decent. It has its uses. And uh, her, her pretty slow but long-range medium kick, it's safe on block. Uh, on counter hit, it's plus four, so that's decent. And uh, in V-Trigger... 
or V Trigger 1, it's also plus 4. Which allows you to combo off of it with, um, stuff like that. So anyways, yeah, she can activate it off of all of her kicks, uh, and, and EX kick. She can, she can activate it off of a fireball. Like so. Moving on to her V Trigger 2. This is, um, more for, like, if, if the V Trigger 1 just improves, like, just makes Chun-Li, uh, a bit better and uh, gives her stronger conversions and damage. Uh, this trigger gives her a bit more versatility and stuff. It gives her more pressure. It improves her neutral game by giving her better confirms in neutral. Uh, it gives her some access to some more uh, damaging routes, some guard breaks. Uh, it gives her more freedom to move around because she doesn't need to have down charge or back charge ready to be able to get into her combos. She can just like dash up, catch people low. And then combo off of it. So anyways, yeah. Basically, when you activate this, which you can do off of a, a variety of stuff, including whiffing. This is weird to me. It's like you can whiff a fireball and then activate with this trigger, but not with the other trigger. So yeah, anyways, in, in those situations... Th this basically, on, uh, on activation, it does this big attack that's um, plus two on block and gets a really good launcher on hit. When you activate it, uh, if you're too far away, you can just uh, combo off of it with EX legs. That's the farthest thing you can combo off of. Actually, the farthest thing you can combo off of it is you can dash up and then do a crouching light kick. But anyways, beyond that, um, if you're closer, you can uh, combo with a variety of other stuff. Usually just go for like, say, heavy uh, heavy legs and then take two forward dashes. So yeah, this basically allows her to comp like keep a bunch of moves safe on block, which allows you to confirm a bunch of stuff. Like she can just do crouching light kick into legs or anything that's a frame trap that that combos on hit which means it's a good way to convert low she can keep it safe by canceling into the Kiko show and then she can charge it as long as she wants if she wants to like go for the guard break or catch them like pressing buttons late there's a bunch of ways you can create frame traps with this like crouching hard kick into it that's a frame trap by default you can catch people uh, in all sorts of places and it lets her just combo off of her regular hits in neutral. That's her buffer and combo stuff. Like you can buffer back medium punch. And you'll you'll get a launcher like that. You can confirm heavy punch into it. And then once you actually get the hit, um, there's there's two versions of it. There's the super heavy one, which you do at the start, uh, and then there's the regular ones. So you can fully charge it to get a super heavy one again. You, you get one on activation, and then you get three more uses of it. The combos, the stuff that you can get off of it sort of depends on the range that you hit it from, but most of the stuff that you can cancel into it, like uh, your kicks, will usually bring you pretty close, so it's fine. If you land it, you can just combo off of it with like anything, any button. Uh, you can go for like basic resets by like, say, doing that into... Um, Medium punch, walk forward, get a standing reset. Crouching light punch, dash forward, get a standing reset. In the corner, you can get cross-ups. Uh, for damage, you can usually, off of the uncharged one, just go for EX legs. You can dash forward, you get good Oki, good damage. You can go for crouching hard kick. You can go for any of those resets. You can do, like I say, a standing light kick and then cancel that into a fireball, which will hit the meaty when they air reset. The great thing about this is that you can cancel into the, the Kikosho even when you whiff a fireball, which means that you can set it. That's a good, like, unblockable setup or guard break setup. Whiff that and then force them to block that. 
which will combo on hit because the fireball hits the meaty enough. So yeah, that's pretty hard to escape that. And then if you... The guard breaks on this are not very impressive. Uh, but what you can do with them is... Um, the damage that you get off of them will always be like kind of eh. It's like even Abigail can, can at least get somewhere close to threatening damage off of his guard breaks. Chun-Li won't be able to get much. That's really like... If you're willing to spend all the resources other than super, that's the best you're going to get. If you're going to spend super, then you can get significantly more. Because super uh, can only scale to 50%. But yeah, the guard breaks uh, themselves are, are probably more for just opening the opponent up and getting corner carry. Because even if you guard break them from like this range, you can always combo with medium, medium uh, bird kick. And then get some corner carry. And then once you're in the corner, uh, your your big stuff gets a little bit stronger. If you land the the regular like full charged hit in neutral like this, you can just go for some like just some some generic stuff like heavy kick one is probably the best no meter option. But in the corner. You can go for V-Skill combos, which lets you get significantly more. Like so. And if you land the uh, regular hit, the, the light, the small version, you can go for uh, EX Bird Kick, which will do more damage than normal than just doing uh, EX Legs. Additionally, you can, like, cancel stuff into V-Scale to set up those dumb, like, cross-up, no cross-up uh, into whatever mix-ups. Uh, you can set up meaty fireballs. There's a bunch of stuff you can do with resetting them in the corner. Like I said, you can also get standing resets and cross-up resets. So yeah, it's it's pretty good. It lets her like, like, the ability to have the freedom to move around allows her to get better Oki in certain situations. Like say off of her forward throw, now she can dash up and do like light kick into that, and then get a combo off that or keep it safe. Uh, it lets her combo off of her anti fireball tools. Like say just whiffing that and then going into a, a, a multi-hitting fireball or comboing off of her, her, her low profile and crouching medium punch, which is really useful. So yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. Other than just like um, matchup specific stuff or, or small tools like low profile stuff with the crouching medium punch or specific setups like meaty setups in the corner or things that I wouldn't necessarily know about. So yeah, that, that should uh, give a, a pretty good basis for where to start with the character. I hope that helps.